Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you, my students. Today, let us continue Get Smart Unit 2 Everyday Smart Kids. Our lesson objectives for today are to identify the means of transport and to talk about how one gets around. So let us read together Get Smart book page 16. Are you ready? Module 2 Smart Kids Hey Anna, come with us. My dad always drives me to school. Thank you. Do you always take the bus to school, Anna? Yes, I do. My mum doesn't drive. Look, there's Jenny and Billy. They always walk to school. Hey, there's Susie. She always rides her bike to school. Hi, Greg. Okay, now class, let's read examples of the means of transport. The first one, take the bus, take the bus. The next one is drive, drive. The third one is walk, walk. And the last one is take the train, take the train. These are a few examples of the means of transport and how we get around. Okay, class, I guess you have read and listened to the conversation in page 16. Okay, so let us look at the box number one. Does Greg's dad drive him to school? So does Greg's dad drive him to school? Based from the conversation here at box number one, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Stated here. Hey, Anna, come with us. My dad always drives me to school. So, yes, we knew that Greg's dad always drive him to school. Okay, let us look at number two. Does Anna take the bus to school? Does Anna take the bus to school? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Based from this conversation, do you always take the bus to school, Anna? Yes, I do. My mom doesn't drive. Okay, next. Look, does Jenny and Billy, they always walk to school. So the question is, do Jenny and Billy walk to school? Of course, obviously, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Does Susie ride her bike to school? Does Susie ride her bike to school? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Even Greg mentioned here, she always rides her bike to school. Okay. Let's see how we use does and do on how we talk about how one gets around. Okay. So let's practice here. Look at a picture, okay? The question is, does Mr. Felix drive to work? Does Mr. Felix drive to work? Does Mr. Felix drive to work? Okay. Mr. Felix is a one person here. So we use the word does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does, okay? Next one, a boy and a girl, two person. Do Bob and Jane ride their bike to school? Do Bob and Jane ride their bike to school? So Bob and Jane, more than one person. So we use the word do. So what is the answer? Yes, they 
do. Yes, they do. So what if um, uh, the answer is no? For example, here, does Mr. Felix walk to work? Does Mr. Felix walk to work? Based from the picture, we know that Mr. Felix drives to work. So what should you answer? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay. Do Bob and Jane take a bus to school? Based from the picture, we know it's a no. So how do you answer this? No, they don't. No, they don't. So we have to re remember that if we ask someone on how the person goes around and the person is singular person, which is uh, one person, so we use, we use does, okay? We use does and if the answer is yes and we answer it, yes, she does. Based from the question, does she walk to school? And we answer it as, yes, she does. If the answer is no, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Okay, let's try one more. Does Mika walk to school? Okay, Mika. Mika is a uh, one person. So we use does. Does Mika walk to school? So if the answer is yes, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Mika is a boy. But if the answer is no, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay? What about if the person is more than one? Let's try. Do they walk to school? Do they walk to school? You know, they is more than one. And we use do. So if the answer is yes, yes, they do. Yes, they do. What if the answer is no? No, they don't. No, they don't. Okay, next example. Do Mika and Mike walk to school? Do Mika and Mike walk to school? Mika and Mike are more than one person. So, we use do. So, how we change Mika and Mike into pronouns? Yes. We change it into they. Okay? So, if the answer is yes, yes, they do. And if the answer is no, no, they don't. No, they don't. So now, let's practice more questions. Okay, the boy is riding his bicycle. So the question, does Bob take a bus to the park? Does Bob take a bus to the park? So, of course, the answer is no. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. And we have more information we can write. Or we can add, he rides his bike to school because we saw he's riding his bike in this picture. So he can, he can, uh, we can put here, he rides his bike to school. Okay, next. Does your sister take a train to the library? Does your sister take a train to the library? So I... It's a no answer. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. And from this picture, we can guess that she walks to the library. So no, she doesn't. She walks to the library. She walks to the library. Okay, next. Now, next question. Do they ride their bicycle to the field? Do they ride their bicycle to the field? So we can guess they walk. No, they don't. They walk to the field. They walk to the field. Okay, okay let us try one more example. Azila, do you take the train to work? 
Okay, do you take the train to work? No, I don't. No, I don't. I always take the bus. I always take the bus. Okay. Uh, I guess that's all for today. I will see you again next week. And hopefully you can do the homework. If you can't understand anything, you can ask me through the telegrams. Okay. See you and take care. Bye-bye.